In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through a 6 million coin Team of the Week investment. So, just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. For the cheapest premium trading service for just £4, four euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll get yourself daily trading and investing guides covering both Xbox and PlayStation with an array of different techniques depending on your budget. I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million on multiple titles and recently making over 10 million in the first month for the last three years. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is walking you guys through a 6 million coin investment I've got to made into one of the current team of the weeks and the reasons for it. So, without further ado, I guess first off we'll just show you who we've gone and bought. Uh, the player we've gone and bought is we've gone and picked ourselves up and proceeding to pick up even more of uh, Second Informed Delit. Second Informed Delit, ATA rated. Uh, we've gone and basically picked them up for on average for about 33k, some under, some over. Uh, I've got a mixture of a buy now and I've got to manage to pick up a bunch on bid because obviously during team of the year there are plenty of this player being listed which means it is quite easy to win a lot of them on bid. Obviously if you end up a little bit higher. So I've got to pick up this guy on bid and buy now for 33k but why have we gone and bought him for 33k? Uh, there's multiple reasons which is why I like it. I like investments when there's multiple uh, utility to the player. Sometimes it can be SBC fodder, sometimes it could be because they're maybe going to be a link investment, maybe they're going out of packs or whatever. And in this case, the utility on uh, Delit is he is both SBC fodder and weak in league utility, which is kind of two of the strongest ones you can have. Uh, and weak in league utility, by that I also mean a link investment, which again is really nice for the utility. Utility means what they can be used for, uh, and basically why on earth they're demanded. So first off, we'll cover a simple one, SBC fodder. Uh, yeah, he's really good SBC fodder. If I go and show you the cheapest buy rating right now, we can see that an 88 is going for about 33.5. Which means that uh, these that I've gone and picked up for 33k are the cheapest 88s on the market. That means if 88s are required, they'll go up. Uh, and 88s being required during the likes of Team of the Year is not a rare thing. If I can think of an 88 off the top of my head, maybe Muller of last year was an 88 rated. Well, the idea is that because there's so many SBCs, he's 87. He'll probably prove the point anyway. The idea is because there's so many SBCs during Team of the Year... Um, the amount of fodder gets rarer and rarer and rarer the later we get into Team of the Year. So here's last year, Team of the Year starting uh, on the... Where would it be? Team of the Year would have started on the 20th. He would have been about 18k. And he picked up and picked up and picked up. And there was a little dip. Um, we saw that this week on the Thursday, Friday. But then they proceeded to pick up once again towards the back end, peaking there on Wednesday and then going down after Wednesday. So the first thing we believe is that this guy will go up to the likes of Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. Obviously, depending on the SBC. Obviously, we know there are more leaked SBCs for the likes of Jorginho, uh, and we're likely to get some upgrade SBCs through the week. We potentially will also get another Hero and Icon SBC because the Icon SBC we've just had was repeatable three times and then not repeatable again after that. So, we might see a nice Hero or a, a say, Icon SBC coming in again. So, first off, he's utility. Second, uh, SBC fodder utility. Second off, obviously, he's an inform. So, obviously, if high rated informs are needed, that's an added bonus. But I'll be completely honest with you. Informs just aren't really, re aren't really being needed this year to the point where informs are more than gold cards. We can see this across ratings very, very easily. Anything 86 plus and the team of the weeks are as expensive basically as the gold cards. Therefore giving inform utility nothing for really this year. But I'm not really going to sell him for that. I'm selling him because I guess he's the cheapest or, you know, I guess buying him, sorry. Because he's the cheapest 88. So there's that one bit of utility, but if I wanted 88, so I could maybe go into Delit, I could go into Mares, so maybe go Barna even. So what separates Delit uh, rather than the next? Now the first thing I'm going to go and show you is one to watch Delit. Now I see one to watch Delit when I got himself an upgrade this week due to um, what's it called? Due to the gold card obviously getting in form. So in for, uh, uh, one to watch his work. But what's quite interesting is he got his upgrade and he went to 203k. But he's actually proceeded to keep rising. Um, this right here obviously shows that, again, even though he's been upgraded, there is still more and more demand. And the reason there's more and more demand is because of the likes of the flashback Mane. So we know that this card is well demanded. Why? Because it keeps rising. It's down a little bit at the moment because we have the likes of Icon SBCs, but they will continue rising through the week. Because this Mane SBC is really well demanded. Now, I'll be honest with you, when this Mane SBC came out, I thought 600k... For, you know, like a plus one upgrade. I didn't think it was that crazy, really, um, to warrant it being heavily demanded. But in the end of the day, a lot of people have done SBC fodder, 
Uh, and I'm, I imagine you guys can agree, uh, forwards are just more exciting than defenders. You know, 600k defender, I mean, pros can vouch him all they want, but it's just not as exciting as using a 93 rated, you know, nice flashback striker. So that's the reason why he's one of the most demanded. And on top of that, none of the leaks are on forwards. Well, I guess actually, sorry, I guess we got Richarlison. So I guess Richarlison could uh, hinder the demand for him. But we already know that a lot of people have done him. And as a result, I say Bayern Munich team should be built quite a lot into the week. Now, some would argue that, you know, well, that's a 600k SBC, that's a 33k player. So it's a very fair argument. And, you know, it's like, you're not going to go into McDonald's to, I don't know, get some chips and then go to a five-star restaurant and have the rest of the meal. You're going to kind of get players who are at the same sort of price. So, again, that is a very fair argument for a lot of things. But what I would say is quite interesting is actually a lot of the cheaper Bayern unit links have actually risen quite nicely since the release of Mane on Friday. For example, we can see Gnabry right here on Friday, 30k. Even with a bit of a drop today, 35k. So, which again is the exact price range of Delit. In fact, it might be interesting to see what did uh, what's he got up to today. He even got up to 36k, which is a 20% increase in 2-3 days on the likes of Gnabry. Again, a player around about the price range of Delit. Gravenberch, again, is, you know, the, the crazy player where he's gone from 120k to a, a 190 just the other day. Once again, these are down a little bit because of the icon SBC, but it just shows extreme demand. Um, I think there's another nice little cheap player I can go and pick as well on top of that. We've got Gnabry. Going from Sane, now I'd say from Sane is less desired than Delit, but once again, this guy has gone from 26k, uh, and even earlier today, he got that 29. Once again, a 10% increase. So we can basically see, oh, here's actually another really good one. Davies, who's out of packs. Again, this card is literally like 12k. This guy out of packs has gone from 8.5k to now near, well, earlier he was near extinct at 13, so he's done really well. I actually picked up loads of these for 8.5 uh, in a previous investment. So you can see that the cheap buying unit link investments are demanded, which means that, again, as long as that Mane is demanded, so should Delit. And that's the reason why I've gone Delit. We've gone Delit because he's SBC fodder, so which means if there's Icon SBCs coming out, he can rise for that. And we also know that Mane SBC is demanded, which means, you know, he should keep rising for that. Uh, which means I think he'll peak on about Thursday, because obviously Friday we're going to have Future Stars. Future Stars has in the past absolutely decimated the market, so it's not something that I wouldn't want to be an SBC fodder. Or weekendly demanded players going into Future Stars, because um, of its uh, past. We've also seen the market rise with Future Stars, I think we did even last year. But I wouldn't gamble it. Better play it safe than sorry. Uh, and, yeah, so that's all she really wrote with the likes of Delit. So, Delit, SBC fodder, link investment to Marnie. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.